in this one we are creating our database so navigate to your localhost slash php my admin and let's go to the new for new database all right so let's give it a name so we're going to say my chat underscore db so you can name your database anything and let's simply create all right so we've been taken to that one and of course the first table that we have to create is users now it's a good idea to write down your columns before you actually uh, create them here that way to give you a rough idea of what columns you need now don't sweat it too much because you can add a new column as soon as you think you need it so for now these are the compulsory ones that we need so that's one two three four five six seven eight so let's go here and select number of columns and put eight and let's hit go all right ah, my pc very slow because of the capture software all right so let's begin with the id now id is required because we want uh, the database to create an automatic id for every row a unique automatic id for every row and user id is a random user id that we're going to generate and then we have username all right and then we might want to add the email depending on your situation and what else we have the password and we have image so let's add password password and image uh, what else we need mm, we need the date to know when we actually created this profile and then we need one that says online now this one will be used to check if a user is actually online or not or the last time they were online now you don't have to put this one in this table you can create a separate table to check who's online uh, but uh, for simplicity we are going to leave it in here and so on id i like to use big int depending on how many users you're expecting if there are millions and thousands of users uh, you're better of using big integer but int is quite large as well so you can leave it there but let's go with big integer and username of course is going to be a variable character so just to be sure we're going to put it at 100 so that no matter how long uh, the name at least 100 characters will be enough but you can put it at 50 that's uh, up to you i think actually 50 is quite enough email we can put it at 100 but also at variable character password variable character as well so this one we are going to limit at 64 because of our hashing algorithm so i'm going to leave it at 64 and then image image we're going to store an image path so let's put it at 500 just to be sure and then on the date we put this one at date time and we won't put a length and online we'll leave it at int and we won't put any length so these guys are automatically put at 20 20 and let me go to id and select that it's a primary key okay and then make sure you select auto increment so that the database can increment it automatically and let's hit save oops am i saving or not ah, all right there we go finally some saving going on all right and so any of these columns that you need to use to search you're going to have to add an index so for example the user id we are definitely going to use that to find the user so i'm going to add an index there and the username also when people are searching for that user we are going to add an index to that one as well and same goes for the email we might use that for logging in index okay the password definitely not the date we might want to search for uh, using the date and definitely the online we will search using the online because sometimes we want to show the people that are actually online right now 
so we've added our indices and we are good to go so this is it for our database for now we go to browse there are no records there yet which is pretty awesome all right so here's uh, an explanation of uh, how things are going to work a little bit let me go to i'm actually in the wrong folder here mine is my chat there we go so now we could delete the file.php we don't actually need it or we could simply rename it to something else and reuse it so let me hit f2 to rename and for some reason okay so we're simply going to name this file api if you don't have that file.php just create a new file and name it api.php and let's save it so what's happening is that every single uh, interaction between uh, the front end which is this part the user interface and the back end which is the database will happen through a single file now this single file is going to be api.php so let's open this one so we are naming it API because it's an interface, application interface, but you can give it any name you want, of course. Okay, so here what we want to do is when the user clicks on the sign up button, we collect the data from these guys and send it over, okay, which is uh, pretty good. Now before we can do that, let's do a little bit of some basic, uh, what's this? Uh, just to check if things are good or not what, what do you call it? Uh, vali validation yeah that's the word i was looking for now we want to put an email here so let's open up this uh, signup.php let's open it up in our text editor and then let me go here where i have username and simply duplicate username and put email i think we will need an email so email and if i refresh now yeah we have username we have email and so on 